Hi, welcome to the second edition of the Iron Horse News video. I'm Donald Tallman, the executive director of the Colorado Railroad Museum. Summer is almost upon us. And as you'll see, we've got some exciting events and programs that are going to be happening this summer. In this edition, you'll hear from Jack Campbell, our chief mechanical officer, who will give you an update on our track project and show you what's going on in the roundhouse. Our archivist and librarian, Kathy McCardwell, will talk a little bit about some of the preservation challenges that we face in, with fragile items in our library and what we do to mitigate those. Our curator, Lauren Giebler, will take you behind the scenes of our new exhibit, Life on Colorado Rails, the Passenger Car Era, 1930 to 1970. It's a great exhibit and you'll get a little peek at that. Our education director, Carla Ehrenholtz, will highlight some of the rails and cocktails programs we've got coming up, as well as uh, the parent and child seminars that she's developed. You'll also meet Andrea Bester, our new museum store coordinator and buyer, who will highlight some of our products in the Depot General Store. It's a full agenda, so let's get started. Hi, I'm Jack Campbell, Chief Mechanical Officer of the Colorado Railroad Museum. And in today's restoration segment of, of our film, uh, I want to talk about passenger equipment. Uh, we're currently doing a track project that allows us to bring standard gauge passenger equipment that has been isolated back here at the back of the museum for a number of years over to the restoration facility. Uh, the track project over here will allow us to get that equipment out and bring the diner and uh, a UP passenger coach back in its place for the time being. In the roundhouse currently, we're working on three other passenger car uh, projects. Uh, a truck project for our baggage car 168. A, uh, the B8 uh, restoration continues. Uh, just recently, we got started on our UN50 project in the roundhouse. It just moved in and we're just getting started uh, working on uh, fitting different trucks under it, uh, uh, couplers, and of course a paint job and, and rear platform. Hi, I'm Kathy McCardwell, archivist and librarian at the Colorado Railroad Museum. One of the main missions of the Richardson Library is the preservation of research materials related to railroading in the Rocky Mountain region. Preservation can mean a lot of things in a facility like ours. Some of our donations arrive in pristine condition, but many have been damaged or worn through years of use and exposure. Much of our preservation work is fairly mundane, like ensuring that materials are kept in clean locations with relatively stable temperature and humidity levels. Some preservation projects are more intensive. For instance, last year we received a grant to refinish and line a map case so that the wood and original finish won't off-gas substances that could damage materials stored in that case. We've also started digitizing some of our 16 and 8 mm film strips taken by Bob Richardson, the museum's founder. Film strips degrade and become brittle as they age and eventually become unplayable. Having them available digitally means more people can view them with no additional damage to the originals. And it is a sad truth that even top-notch preservation can't make things last forever. So when the film strips do eventually disintegrate, our digitized versions will ensure that the information the films contained is not lost. Finally, in some extreme cases, we do send materials to a professional conservator who can stabilize items that were in the worst condition. Professional treatment of an individual item is the most expensive option and often depends upon donations to our preservation program, so a big thank you to all of our supporters. All of these preservation activities are ongoing and are undertaken with one goal in mind, to keep these rare and delicate materials available to researchers for years to come. Hi, I'm Lauren Giebler. I'm curator at the Colorado Railroad Museum. I'm standing in front of our new exhibit, Life on Colorado Rails, the Passenger Car Era, from 1930 to 1970. This is the second of three exhibits, all focusing on Colorado railroad workers. This exhibit focuses on uh, people in railroading. Um, many of our past exhibits have focused on equipment, and we're really trying to tell the personal story of people, whether they worked on the railroad um, or used the railroad while they were traveling. Uh, in this exhibit, we have a lot of personal stories from courier nurses, porters, conductors, um, engineers. 
I'm standing in front of a model of the round-in observation car Navajo, which ran on the Santa Fe train, the Super Chief. The Super Chief was a streamliner that ran between Los Angeles and Chicago, called the Train of the Stars. Its famous clientele included Frank Sinatra, Bing Crosby, and Elizabeth Taylor. Anybody who was anybody rode the Super Chief. I urge you to visit this exhibit and discover the personal side of railroading. I look forward to sharing more about this exhibit in our next program. Hi, I'm Education Manager Carla Arnholtz. The museum is very focused on expanding our education program offerings. We are busy creating more hands-on learning opportunities for visitors of all ages, from children and families to school groups to adults. Recently, we piloted our new Junior Engineer Parent and Child Workshops. These programs are designed for children ages 5 to 13 and an adult. They bring the story of Colorado Railroads to life through fun and hands-on activities. The first workshop, held in May, was an introduction to model railroading. Together, families learned about model railroads by putting together a track layout, building a model boxcar to take home, and going behind the scenes for a tour of the Denver Garden Railway and HO model layouts that are on display here at the museum. Parent and child workshops are a great way for kids and their parents, grandparents, or aunts and uncles to spend quality, fun time learning together. Coming this July, the museum will begin adding railroad demonstrations on a select Sunday each month. Free to all visitors, demos will bring railroad artifacts to life and give visitors a sneak peek into the world of railroading past and present. The Colorado Railroad Museum's very own teacher and storyteller Steve Lee will present as Hiram Wheeler, a railroad station agent from the late 19th century. Dates for both Sunday programs, parent and child workshops, and our adult lecture program, Colorado Rails and Cocktails, are being added to the calendar. So check out our website regularly for updates and to plan your visit. Hello, and welcome to the general store at the Colorado Railroad Museum. I'm Andrea Bester, store coordinator and buyer. The general store and museum building, built in 1958, is your first stop on your adventure in Colorado Railroad history. We offer a wide variety of railroad memorabilia, which includes books, DVDs, t-shirts, souvenirs, children's toys, including Thomas and Chuggington, and a wide variety of snacks. Did you ride the Galloping Goose today? If so, pick up your Galloping Goose and Spring puzzle. Remember to check out William Reich Book Bundle, which includes Colorado Rail Annual 29 and 31 and the Colorado Railroad Ice Houses. Stop by our online store and view the General Store News for our current listing of special events, including book signings by authors Janet Dawson and Dick Kreck. My staff and I look forward to seeing you at the Colorado Railroad Museum General Store. Behind me is car 96. It's a business car, an example of executive travel or travel by the wealthy in the early 1900s. Uh, this car was built in 1887 and was used by the president of the Chicago Burlington and Quincy. It was originally a wooden car that was reclad in the 20s in steel. It's got all of the comforts of home, including a parlor, two staterooms, a dining room, of course, crew quarters, and a galley. This particular car is done in mahogany and quarter sawn oak, very wonderful, rich woods that were used quite extensively by uh, the railroads for their executives. The owner of this car always traveled with a cook, a male private secretary, and a porter. And the food on this car was always sumptuous, befitting an executive. Hi, I'm Roy Johnson. I'm on the Board of Trustees here at the Colorado Railroad Museum. And I'm also a volunteer at the uh, Richardson Library. I'm doing the uh, slide collection. I'm cataloging all the slides we have here in the collection. Um, we've probably got 75,000 slides at present, and I've gone through about 31,000 of them in four years. Um, so it's a slow process because we seem to get in more than, than I can do. Um, so I think it's sort of a guaranteed employment job for me uh, as long as I want it.
I hope you'll join us for some exciting events this summer. You can step back in time in the Old West with Wild West Days in June, and then step a few million years back even more to Dinosaur Express. We are partnering with the Morrison Natural History Museum and the Dinosaur Ridge for this fun and exciting event. I'm Donald Tallman, and I hope you make the Colorado Railroad Museum one of your frequent stops this summer. It's a great place to lose track of time. See you next time.